Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'll be showing you guys an updated version on how to add skin tone, clothing, accessories, and all of that to your Roblox Studio dummy. I already have a tutorial on my page but that is kind of outdated and it doesn't work anymore so here is a new one and yeah let's get right into it. First, you want to make sure that you're going to view on the top, just watch what I'm doing, and you want to make sure that you have properties and explorer open. So yeah, and the toolbox too, but we're not going to use that that much. But yeah, just have it open. You can see this is the toolbox, that's explorer, and these are properties. So now we're going to move on to plugins, and you're going to select the build rig plugin, and then it's going to show you a bunch of different body options, and you can choose whichever one you want. For this video, I'm going to do just the uh, the block rig, but you can do whichever one you want, and make sure that it's an R15. So now it's going to load onto my base plate, and then you're just going to drag it down so that it like goes to wherever you want it to go. And yeah. The first thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to rename it. So here I'm showing you guys like in, in Explorer, you can see the dummy and you're just going to click on it once and you can write whatever you want. Alright, so we're going to name him Jacob. Um, but anyways, now we're going to add skin tones and you're going to click on the little plus sign next to the dummy's name and you're going to click on body colors. And it's going to show up a bunch of different colors, but now you're going to go to properties to change that. So just do what I'm doing and make sure you change the one that has the, that doesn't have a number next to it because the other one doesn't really do anything in my opinion, but yeah. And you can just change it to whatever color you want. Okay, now that I have my skin tones done, we are going to move on to the face and you're going to open up your dummy and you're going to find where it says head. So you're just going to scroll down in Explorer and you're going to find head. You're going to open that up with the little arrow next to it and you're going to find where it says uh, face, I think. And now what you're going to do is you're either going to find a face in the toolbox by clicking on models and changing it to decals or images. And then you're going to find faces there, or you can go on the Roblox library and find some there, or you can just choose one from the Roblox avatar shop. But yeah, just see what I'm doing here and you'll understand what I'm saying. Once you find a face that you like, all you're going to do is you're going to copy the asset number, asset ID, and then you're going to put it into the properties like I'm going about to do in the video. So just watch very closely because I'm not really sure how to explain this part, but yeah, this is how you add on the faces. As you can see, it went on the head, but yeah. So now I'm in the avatar shop and you can choose one of these faces. It can cost as many Robux, Robux as you want. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect you in any way. You can just choose any face. You're going to copy the asset ID up there and then you're going to go back into Roblox Studio and you're going to paste that into the face and properties and then where it says template and you're just gonna paste that there. To paste, you're gonna use control V in your keyboard. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our accessories and for this we're gonna use a plugin that is going to be linked in the description. It is called catalog inserter because the other catalog loader is no longer available for installing, but yeah. To insert uh, catalog items, you're going to go into the avatar shop in the Roblox website. You're going to find the hair, accessories, anything, any accessories work. Any accessory that you want to use and you're going to click on them and then you're going to do the same thing that we did to the faces. You're going to copy the asset ID at the top link and then you're going to paste that over. If you look at what I'm doing here, it'll be a lot easier to understand. So 
So now that you copied the asset ID, you're gonna go back into Roblox Studio, you're gonna open up Catalog Inserter, and you're gonna paste in that asset ID, and you're just gonna insert it. And then it's gonna show up in your Explorer, just like that. Once it shows up, you're just gonna drag that down onto your dummy's name, and it's gonna show up where it's supposed to be. If it's a back accessory, it's gonna show up in the back. If it's hair, it's gonna show up in the head, and just like that. Also, this is how the plugin looks. Once you click the link in the description, that's how it's gonna look. And you're just gonna click install, and it's gonna take you into Roblox Studio, and it's gonna get installed. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some clothing, and for this, you're gonna click on the plus sign next to the dummy's avatar, and you're gonna add a shirt and a pants. This step is very similar to the face. You're gonna find some clothing in the avatar shop. You're gonna copy the asset ID over at the link in the top, and you're gonna paste that over into Juicy Hand. All right, so once you found the shirt that you wanna use, you're gonna go into the Explorer and you're gonna click on the shirt or the clothing thing, and then you're gonna go into properties and you're gonna click on shirt template and that's where you're gonna paste in the asset ID. And you're gonna do the same thing with the pants. So now I'm just going to add some more accessories so that you guys see and really understand how it works and just know that you can literally add any accessories onto it and yeah you can just watch and make sure you understand if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments i'll be responding to all of you Alright, so as you can see, I added a bag accessory, a hat, and a face accessory, and you can add things for the torso and shoes and I don't know, but you can add literally anything to it. So yeah, I hope this updated tutorial was easier for you guys to understand. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments, I'll be responding to all of you. Thanks for watching.